India's hunger statistics are among the poorest in the world. But dismally enough India wastes 244 crore rupees worth of food a day, sending almost 194 million Indians to bed starving daily. While most of our food is farmed and cultivated in rural areas, most of it is wasted in cities. As 80% of all food is expected to be consumed in cities by 2050, they have to be central to this story. Today they often act as black holes, sucking in resources but wasting many of them, the final stop in the take-make-waste approach. As city limits expand by the year, and farming land dwindles owing to urbanization, hydroponics or the simple signs of growing plants without soil has emerged as a sustainable alternative. One that is making a fortune for urban dwellers. At a time when diminishing groundwater resources is a customary article in the news every summer, hydroponics has become popular as this method uses up to 90% less water compared to soil-based planting techniques. The magic is in the oxygenated nutrient and mineral-rich medium that these saplings are suspended in. With direct contact with nutrients now that the middleman soil is gone, plants grow faster and do not depend on the weather. Furthermore, since there is no soil, there is no need for chemicals to fertilize the medium of growth making hydroponics not only sustainable but also organic. In the year 2020, during the pandemic, couple from Mangalore, Prajwal Shetty and Poonima Shetty started our balcony garden farms at Bondil, Mangalore, Karnataka. They wanted to change the way people are doing farming and to inspire farmers to do organic agriculture. We started this derby two years back in the pandemic when we had a small balcony setup, which is a hydroponic setup in our balcony where we used to uh, try a lot of crops, we used to consume these crops and we found that over a period of uh, some uh, weeks, we found that we are more active, we are more energized, you know, there is a lot of freshness in our body. So that is the reason why we wanted to have this set up in our uh, Mangalore city and then give it to our customers as well in Mangalore. So today we are with this farm which has a capacity of 10,000 plus plants. Uh, though it has a capacity of 10,000 plus plants, we are just uh, putting only 2,000 to 3,000 plants as of now because there are a lot of research, there are a lot of R&Ds we are doing because in terms of what are the crops we are, have to grow, what are the crops we uh, will grow in this certain environment and what are the demands we have in the, in the market as well. So there are a lot of customers who actually come to us and then ask us to grow certain types of uh, you know, veggies, certain types of crops which, we, which they feel they want in a uh, mango region. Hydroponics is a new way of farming where we use water instead of soil to grow the crops. We supply all the necessary nutrition through water so that it absorbs all kind of environmental nutrition that is required for the plants. Since there is no use of soil, the best part about hydroponics is there is no pesticides. But to also avoid different kinds of pests, we use a lot of pest traps inside the hydroponic farming. So right from the harvest until the time the crop reaches the shop, there's a lot of process which happens in terms of packaging, in terms of the transport, in terms of you know, uh, uh, keeping those crop in the shop and until it reaches to your table, there's a lot of 50% uh, of the nutrition is actually lost and even the flavors if you see, the taste of the crop reduces drastically because of this uh, whole journey. So in order to keep the nutrition intact and the freshness of the crop, we directly harvest the crop and then supply to our customers. So how many of us actually know from where this food is coming and what this food is actually doing to the environment when these foods are produced? You know, uh, when a farmer puts a, puts a pesticides, you know, 95% of the actually the pesticide goes to the environment. That means 5% of the pesticide actually kills the insect. The remaining 95% of the pesticides goes to either water air or soil. So you have seen an uh, incident which has happened, you know, uh, there are a lot of pesticide residue which was found in the uh, soft drinks, there is a lot of uh, lead content which was found in the maggi. Now the manufacturer doesn't put a lead content or a pesticide into this uh, food product, but from where does this come? So this is all the pests which we actually uh, use in the, uh, in the uh, farm, it actually goes to the environment and then comes back to our food.
So this is what we need to think from where the food is actually coming, what are the things which we are intaking it and how healthy and how fresh it is when we intake this food. Because we intake this food at least thrice a day. So as of now in Mangalore uh, from our balcony garden, the most loved product is the palak uh, because a lot of people haven't seen the freshness of palak. You know, a lot of people come to us and tell we haven't, haven't seen such a, such a beautiful, such a fresh palak in our whole life. So this is a sense of uh, satisfaction which we get as a farmer when we grow such healthy products. Uh, apart from palak, we also have kale which we grow and which is a lot of which has got a lot of demand in the market. And people are slowly understanding the use of kale and the benefit of this kale to a healthy body. We also have bok choy, we also have lettuce, which uh, at one point of time people used to think these lettuce and bok choy. Uh, are exotic veggies which are which we use only on the star hotels but now people have started using it in their own house and they have started using the lettuce in the chapati rolls in dosa rolls in fact they come to us and then they tell us that we have used your lettuce in chapatis we have used this in the dosa so this is the kind of uh, you know thing which we always wanted to do we wanted to you know uh, uh, set that awareness of uh, what can be used in your houses as well and it is not the exotic vegetables are used only on the star hotels and on the restaurant we can use that in our home as well so as the demand increases in the market there will be a lot of farmers who will come forward and then start growing these hydroponic farms you know fresh 100% uh, pesticide free farm so when there is a demand in the market obviously a lot of farmers will come forward and start doing it that is the whole thing what we are promoting it in the market uh, getting back to roots, going back to uh, uh, farming, which we have been doing it uh, from ancient times without any pesticides, without any fungicides, doing it organically. Every time we deliver a product, customer feedback is really important for us and we always get a satisfactory feedback from them. They share us their menus, they share us what they have done out of it. These kind of reviews we always post on our Instagram at our balcony garden. And now we'll be coming up with a lot of other videos which we'll be posting on our YouTube channel that is at our balcony garden. Let's, Let's eat healthy Mangalore.